To set this up for AC Ripple, we're going to navigate over to the menu. We're going to hit OK, then we're going to navigate down to Presets. I'm going to hit OK, then I'm going to navigate down to User Setups. Now the first thing that comes up is my AC Ripple. I do have other presets in here, and those are accessed through the left and right arrow buttons. Once I'm on the setup that I want, I press and hold the OK button until the name turns completely green. Then I can release the OK button. We can now see the reference file, and there's a couple of things that we can do with this reference file. The first thing we can do is if we hit OK, leave it on vertical, then hit OK again. Then navigate down to reference V position and use the left and right arrow buttons to move the reference file up and down vertically on the screen so we can see the reference file at the same time we're doing our waveform capture. And I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to go ahead and change my meters so that I have my minimum and maximum on my screen. Now let's start the car up and make our measurement. Connect the black lead to the negative post and on the positive lead we need to put the AC filter between the lead and the alligator clip. Then Clip the green alligator clip to the positive battery post. Start the car and turn on a high load accessory like your air conditioning. With the car running, let's plug the U-scope into the leads. And now we can see that we have our AC ripple and we can also compare that to our reference file. And if we want to turn that reference file off, we can just come down to presets move it down to reference show and turn that off and now we have just our pattern if we press and hold the button that will freeze it on the screen right here at hold and now if we want to do our own measurements we can come over to here we can turn on our cursors we can come down here and go to our vertical cursors and we can turn that on now we can move up to vertical cursor number one and we can bring vertical cursor one down to the top of my pattern. And then I can move down to vertical cursor two. And I can move that up to the bottom of the pattern. And then we're going to have our values at the top. We got our delta of 150 millivolts. And if you come up over here and you look at a minus 95 millivolts and a plus 83 millivolts, that comes up to about 178 millivolts, which is just 20 millivolts different than my measurement. So I'm a little bit off on my cursor measurements.